Isn't it a bummer when you're traveling abroad and you can't access your personal Disney account? Well, I took the plunge and tested out four free VPN to see which one can bridge the Disney gap. You'll get to see which servers you can hop onto on the free versions of these four VPN and whether the streaming quality is up to snuff on the ones where you can access Disney at all. On the end, I'll unveil a budget-friendly premium VPN that outperforms these freebies hands down and won't have you breaking the bank. It's cheaper than cup of coffee. So, you can make a decision whether splashing a few bucks on a premium VPN is worth your while or not. Now, let's dive in. First up is Winscribe. The free version of Winscribe VPN comes with a bundle of features. 10 gigabytes data per month with a confirmed email address, unlimited connections, access to VPN servers in over 10 countries, protection from tracking with enhanced privacy, browsing history protection, the ability to unblock geo-restricted content, prevention of personal information leakage. Not a bad deal considering it's free, right? So, let's put it to the test. I'll connect to the VPN server using the USA server for this round. Then I'll pop open a new incognito tab, you know, just to keep things clean and see if I can log into Disney and stream a little magic. Voila! It's working and the quality is pretty decent. The only snag is the 10 gigabytes data cap per month. To put it in perspective, how much streaming can you really squeeze out of that? But hey, if you just need a free VPN for casual browsing, this could be your match. Onward to Hide Me VPN. The free version of this VPN offers unlimited data, no speed limits on a free plan, access to eight locations, allows one connection, no logs policy, ensuring your privacy remains your own. It sounds like a fair deal, especially if you need a server from one of these eight countries covered by the free VPN version. But remember the old adage, if something is free, you're probably the product. Also, free servers tend to get crowded, and the bandwidth goes downhill when that happens. Let's give it a whirl. Connect to the server, I'm going USA again, and just to be double sure, I'll open a new incognito window post-connection. Sadly, it doesn't hold a candle to Winscribe. As the saying goes, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. I faced a hiccup logging in, then the first video was a no-show. and the second one had me waiting an eternity to start. And when it did, I was watching a slideshow, not a video. But if you're looking for a VPN just for some light browsing, despite a few hiccups, this could work. All right, let's forge ahead to our third contender, Proton VPN. The free tier of Proton VPN brings to the table support for one device, access in three countries, no logs policy, unlimited data suite, and no ads guaranteed. This seems like a decent proposition, especially if you're eyeing a server in one of these three countries. However, a little birdie on the Proton VPN website told me they don't guarantee streaming on the free plan, only on the paid plans. But hey, I'm feeling lucky, so I'm going to test it out. I'll connect to the US server as before and then sneak into a new incognito window to ensure it doesn't catch my real location. Trying to connect to Disney Plus was a no-go. It didn't even want to show the login screen for Disney Plus. I'll give it another shot with a different US server, close this incognito window, open a new one post connection and try again. All right, let's try to open Disney Plus again, and it's a bust. So with a fair amount of certainty, I can say that Proton VPN won't be your Disney Plus gateway. However, it's a decent pick for hiding your real location while browsing if the servers from these three countries float your boat. Our final free contestant for today is Atlas VPN. This VPN offers a freebie with four free locations, no speed limits, unlimited devices, five gigabytes data cap per month. Now, this data cap isn't much, especially if you're gunning to use this for streaming. Five gigabytes are like maybe an hour of streaming, right? But here's a silver lining. This free plan boasts two streaming optimized servers. Let's put one of these servers through its paces. I'll employ the same tactic as with the other free VPN. First, I'll connect to the server, in this case, the US Streaming Optimized Server. Then open a new incognito window and attempt to log into Disney Plus. Success. Now, let's play something. Let's go with the same movie and we'll skip the ads part because who needs that annoyance, right? The quality is pretty decent and the streaming is smooth as butter. The only gripe is the data cap. For this part, 
I chewed through around 200 megabytes and hadn't even begun streaming, so it's a thin slice for streaming. Now onto the cheapest premium VPN. Drum rolls, please. I'm talking about Private Internet Access VPN. I handpicked Private Internet Access VPN for three core reasons. Number one, it's dirt cheap and with our discount codes, it's practically a steal. It'll grant you unlimited access to Disney Plus for less than what you shell out on a cup of coffee every day. Number two, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if it's not your cup of tea, you get a full refund. And number three, and this is the big one, Private Internet Access VPN was crafted with streaming in mind. So, let's put it to the acid test. First, connect to the US server like we did with the rest, close this incognito window and pop open a new one to cover our tracks. Try connecting to the Disney Plus website. As you can see, it's working like a charm. Now log in and I'll try to stream the same movie. And I'll fast forward through the ads for the sake of our collective sanity if you catch my drift. It's working seamlessly. Streaming is top-notch and buffering is nowhere in sight. And there we have it, folks. I tested four free VPN options and introduced you to one budget-friendly premium VPN. The ball is in your court now, but I'd heavily lean towards the premium option, especially if you're willing to forget a cup of coffee for a one-month subscription. We both know that's a win for your health. I hope you found this exploration enlightening. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tech-savvy videos. Thanks a ton for watching.